and welcome back. This is Christina with Dirt Road Diva and I would like to give you a warm welcome to day 22 of 100 Days of Believing Bigger. If it's your first time here, we are doing this devotional series by Marshawn Evans Daniels. It's a 100 day devotional and each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we are doing a new video, breaking down one of the days and really digging into it. So today on day 22, we are talking about the theme identity still, and we are focusing on you are capable. Our verse today is a very, very popular verse. If you ask people all over the world what their favorite Bible verse is, this one is sure to come up over and over and over again. But it is also one of the most misused and misunderstood verses in the Bible. If you haven't guessed yet, it is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, this is a great motivational verse, but if we really look at the meaning of it, we need to go back a verse or two. And as a matter of fact, with any verse that is very, very popular, I would encourage you to go back a couple verses and really think about the content, context in which they were written. This verse is more about, I can do anything that God calls me to do, whether it be that I have much during that time, that I have little, that I'm suffering. But I, I want you, instead of me really digging into that, if this is a verse that you love and you haven't done so yet, I want you to really study that whole chapter, Philippians 4. And I think it will give you a new insight to that. Well, let's go ahead and dig in to the journal reflection for today. Marshawn says that our trust in God is not somehow separate from our belief in ourselves. And that is really a wow moment. I had to read it about three times and let it really soak in. Our trust in God is not somehow separate from our belief in ourself. On the contrary, divine trust and self-belief are linked together by the umbilical cord of purpose. We cannot fulfill our destiny merely with one or the other. We need both. Now, I can see where some of you may be thinking, hmm, I'm not so sure about that. But let's go ahead and hear her out. She goes on to say that we need a healthy and hearty self-image to even have the audacity to pursue all that God has in store for us. So the focus in this is really not on us, but it's given back to God. So when I read that part, I am in agreement with that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Notice that she didn't say that we need a strong self-image to believe in God. We have all met men and women who absolutely believe in God, but don't love themselves or even like themselves. The truth is, most of us spend a lot of time trying to fix ourselves or trying to figure out how to live with what we consider our faults. If we don't learn to celebrate ourselves, to like ourselves, to love ourselves, then there's no way that we can call, that we can live out God's calling for us. He did not create us to loathe ourselves. That's not his vision for us. We are his sons and daughters. And I love thinking of God as a father. And this is something that once I became a mother, it became so much more apparent to me when I think like, what way do I want my own daughter to care for herself? And I've heard people say things like, they don't feel that it's okay to ask in prayer something for themselves. Well, do you want your own child to come to you for their needs? So 
I think that when we look at it as what does a heavenly father want for his children, then it's easier to see the type of love that we should have for ourselves. Marshawn ends the reflection in reminding us that we are a custom creation and God desires that we love who we are and to grow to operate with supernatural courage using gifts, personality, and intellect that he gives us. I think that that's a really good word for all of us, men or women, young or old. I think that uh, are we capable, self-doubt, stuff like that definitely comes into play. So think about those things today and ask yourself if that's something that has stood in your way. As a matter of fact, that's our journal prompt for today. How has self-doubt been holding you back? And what is the new story God is inviting you to write when it comes to your view of yourself? The battle of the mind is something that, thank God, we are able to influence and control. Stop telling yourself the lies that the enemy would love for you to hear. You are capable. You may not have the skill set yet that others have. You may not have the money that others have. There may be all of these things, but with God, if it is his calling for you, he will make a way. You will develop the skill set. The money will be provided. Uh, you'll have the courage that you need to step up. It will be something that even surprises you. But if it's God's calling, he's going to make sure that you are able to have the things that you need. So let us know in the comments if self-doubt has been holding you back from something that you feel God is calling you to do. Well, I was just looking at my early YouTube videos from a year ago, and I can tell you that self-doubt definitely held me back. I didn't know what I was doing. I had technical issues and I had massive self-doubt. So it was one year ago this month that I told myself I was gonna start YouTube. I got on there and I did a video or two, and then I didn't do really hardly anything at all until last month. And uh, I wasted almost a full year, and it's because I believed all the doubts that I was telling myself. Let's go ahead and close in a prayer that wraps up the fact that you are capable. Lord, help me to shed all the negative beliefs and faulty thoughts about myself. I declare that I am who you say I am, regardless of what anyone else says or thinks and regardless of my past. I am capable. I am wonderful. I am chosen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me again today and come back for day 23, where we are still going to be on the topic of identity. And we are going to be studying the subject, you are a vessel. Thank you again for joining me today for 100 days of believing bigger and come back again for day 23. If you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, that bell icon should let you know when I upload a new video. Day 23, we are still going to be on the topic of identity and we are going to dig into the theme, you are a vessel. So be sure and come back. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any prayer requests, please leave those in the comment sections below. And if you would be so kind as to pray for me too, I definitely would appreciate that as I continue this 100 day devotional series. Thank you again. Have a blessed day. Bye.